So one of the major prevailing themes of the 2016 Paris Auto Show is electric drive, connectivity, and uh, mirror linking with your phone and the car. And to get an in-depth look at the new technology and emerging trends in the market, we're going to spend a lot of time here at SEAT and talk to their top directors and CEOs, and they're going to give us their first-hand knowledge and demonstrations, with the, uh, especially with the SEAT at Teca. Are you interested? Let's go. So I'm here with Leire, who is the head of the SEAT Connected Car and Infotainment. Thank you so much for being with us. So can you briefly describe what makes this new system in the Alteca unique, innovative and different from the competitors? In the Seat Alteca we have now an 8 inch display, colorful and with many many connectivity new functionalities. We offer the technology full link. With, with this technology you can plug in your phones with the infotainment system and control your phone in a very safety way from your display. Yeah? It's compatible with Android devices and with Apple devices. Therefore, on top of that, SEAT is not just offering the technology. We, are also, we have also developed an infotainment app. It's, it's called the Drive app. Yeah? I can show it to you, the Drive here. With the Drive app, the phone is connected with your car and you can have some information about your car status in your phone. This means, like, imagine you are at home and you are driving tomorrow for the weekend far away. You can check in your phone if, your car, if everything's all right, if, if there is a failure or whatever, and also control your petrol level, yeah? So in order that you can plan in advance if you have to go to the station before leaving or not, yeah? Mm -hmm. I can also show you, like, the, the Android version with the Ateca, you just have to plug in the phone and as well as the CarPlay version which is the one compatible with iPhones here it's, it's now being connected this is full link, it's the technology which we are talking about yeah with this application it goes you have information in both uh, senses so this means when you are at home you can have um, data, as we saw in the, in the car elevation from your car, car status, pet, uh, petrol, or whatever. And then while driving, you can also have access to your, your phone details. So I can control in a very, very safety way. So I have to, oh yeah. You can control in a very safety way some information from your phone. For instance, social media. Yeah, you can have access to your Facebook account, to your Twitter, and you can read out your your or your emails, and then also answer them per per voice. So we really uh, care for safety, which is one of our priorities, and we won't allow you to have like. Uh, to write down on the screen, but we allowed you to, I mean, they will read uh, the messages out and you can also uh, answer them per voice. This is the Drive app, which have, has the contents related to the car, so you can have some tracks recorded and then watch them uh, when you're at home, uh, have a challenger, vehicle status, which we saw before, and you can have this access to your social media. We also want to personalize the infotainment system of our cars. So that's why we also develop some personal gestures where you can say which gesture uh, goes with which action. That means, in this, for instance, this one, which is a circle, means that we, I will jump to another menu. Or this one, like um, yeah, sunrise, you can, it's sending at an SMS to whoever person or just calling someone, yeah? What we also have made here, in terms of personalization, is making sure that everybody has a can have some, uh, its own desktop. This means I can go here and, for instance, change the background of my infotainment system, put another color, or even have my own picture uh, in the car, like having my kids as a wallpaper. I can also change the widgets and get some new widgets so that in the end I'm personalizing my own car and having here the, my, func my functionalities or the ones which I use most. Okay, all of this sounds really interesting. And is all of this already in production or is it, are you going to roll this out within the next year or what's the timeline? It's already in production, so Full Link is available and not only in the Seat Ateca but also in all other Seat models 
because we really think that connectivity is not something that, I mean, just for one target of customers, connectivity should be available for every customer because we, we believe that uh, being always connected is something which, which our customers, our drivers wants, want, want to be. So therefore we are offering full link on all over range, yeah? Okay, well, that's very interesting. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks to you. I'm here with Mr. Fabian Simmer. He is the chief of the digital for uh, SIET. So Mr. Fabian, thank you very much for being with us. So what are the new innovations that SIET is working on, for example, in this car, the SIET Ateca experience, in terms of digitalization and connectivity? Well, digitalization in general for SIET is obviously a very important topic, as it is for the rest of the industry, because we think it's the biggest disruption that the car manufacturing industry has encountered over the 130 years of uh, history of the car itself. So therefore, SEAT has prepared itself and has put together a digital organization within SEAT, which is uh, based in three different pillars. One is connected car itself, and we have connected customer. Everything is digitalization around the customer. And then we have a third pillar, which is uh, new business models, which is basically where to take care in order to monetize all the new digital initiatives that we are working on. So, um, like for example, the uh, innovations that you're talking about, when can we see this production ready and implemented in the cars? Well, SEAT has been in the past already one of the leaders with regards to connectivity. So we have been one of the first car brands to introduce a full link system where we can the, the smartphone, we can have the smartphone integration within our cars. And recently, one month ago, we launched a SEAT app for Apple CarPlay. It was actually the first manufacturer in the world who did that. And uh, now we are working on different functions and services with which uh, the connected vehicle allows us to offer to our customers. And finally, how important is connectivity to SEAT's business strategy overall? And where do you see this going in the future? Well, I think it's a complete change of mindset and it offers a huge bunch of uh, opportunities for us. Because basically it's uh, like when you compare the, with the mobile phone industry. When you look at a telephone of 20 years ago, what you could do with that was just talking by, on the phone. And when you look at the last, uh, last model smartphone, all the opportunities you have, they are immense. So we are obviously looking into that in order to offer that to our customers. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.